In this video, we are going to determine the work that is done in an adiabatic process. So the question says, find moles of hydrogen gas at 273 kelvins are allowed to expand adiabatically, adiabatically this process so that the temperature falls to 200. And we also have the heat capacity ratio, which is also known as an adiabatic index, which is one anything let us come up with the data so we have the data the number of moles the number of moles so we have the number of moles which is five more okay then we have the temperature one which is t1 273 kelvins then we have the T2, the temperature 2, 250 kelvins. Then from there, so this is the information that we have been given. Now, we are told to say it is an adiabatic process because the gas was expanding adiabatically. And now, an adiabatic process is a process where there is no exchange of heat between the surrounding and the system. Now, from here, what I'm going to do is we're going to come up with the formula. And remember that the formula that is given, or rather that we use when we are dealing with an we adiabatic the of moles the work done, done over the adiabatic. The work done is given by the number of moles. And in temperature. for the work done and now this is simply a constant and it is given by 8.31 joules per mole per kelvin so this is a, the, the value for the gas constant and from here what i'm going to do is let's just plug in the values and what i'm going to have here is five moles so five more times of um, 8.31 joules per mole per kelvin, then times 273 minus 250, these are in kelvins, then over here we have the 1.4 minus 1. So from here, com some common parameters can cancel, such as this one. And this one will cancel. This one, this one will also cancel. And what we're going to have here is, let me just erase this part. The work done is going to be 5 times 3 point, sorry, 8.31 joules times the change in temperature, which is 23 over here we have 0 0.4. So, and when we punch this on the calculator, what we're going to get is 2389.12. So from here, we can even round it off. So the units are just. So from here, we can even round it to the nearest one number. And what we're going to get is 2389 joules. 